And here we go. Hardcore Henry is directed by Illa Neshuler and is an action film that is set in the near future and it's about a man who wakes up on this operating table to find that his limbs and other body parts have been replaced with mechanical ones kind of like Robocop. But the catch to this movie and is what compelled me to see it enough is that the entire movie is in first person. The entirety of this whole film is in the perspective of our main character Henry. Hardcore Henry, like John Wick, The Raid, and many of the recent action movies that have been successful recently, is made by a team of stuntmen. So pretty much the entire time you're seeing this movie, you're seeing it through the eyes of a stuntman. And thankfully, the stunts that they're doing aren't boring or stupid. The stunts that they're doing are absolutely insane and mind-boggling that a human would like put their lives on the line to get this one shot. Like for example, there's this one scene where this guy's on top of a car and the car explodes and he flies off the car and lands on the back of a motorcycle. Now that you might think that that's fake or whatever, but that was all done with wire work on an actual road. And if that sounds awesome, if that sounds amazing, if that sounds like something you're into, then you definitely should check out Hardcore Henry. But this movie isn't just action, it has some some really good performances, by far my favorite being Charteau Copley. Charteau Copley is in a lot of the Neil Blomkamp movies, like District 9, and he is the main character in this film, but in this movie he plays a character that's very interesting and he gets to be a lot of different people at the same time. I actually had the pleasure of talking to Mr. Copley over a Skype call on the Screen Junkies Universe show. He was very polite and answered my question. But his character is very interesting in the fact that he gets to play many different personalities. And his role in this movie is to be like the kind of character in a video game that just gets you from point A to B and who you talk to d during uh, most of the cutscenes. But unfortunately, that's all he really is in this movie, so he doesn't get as much screen time as I think that he deserves. But because our main character, Henry, doesn't talk through the entire duration of the film, Charto Copley, the bad guy, and her, uh, Henry's girlfriend are really the only characters that we actually get to see and spend time with. The wife is fine. I feel like anybody could have really done her job. She wasn't spectacular or anything. The villain in this movie is very weird because he tries to be really over the top, which is what pretty much this entire movie is, but it works sometimes and it's effective and then some other times it just doesn't work out for me, so he was very hit and miss for me. But Charteau Copley is by far my favorite performance and every single scene he is in, he absolutely steals the show. Like I said, the entire duration of this movie is in first person, which at first is really awe-inspiring and you're really just taken back by this and it's really impressive, but after a while that effect starts to dwindle away and it starts to get a little tiresome. This movie doesn't have the substance that some really classic action movies have, but that's okay because I really don't think that it was going for that. I think Hardcore Henry set out to be a big, dumb action movie with lots of crazy stunts and violence, and I think it achieved that very well, so I'm going to give Hardcore Henry a 7 out of 10. Today, I hope you liked today's video. My reviews for The Jungle Book and Hush will be coming very soon, so be looking forward to those. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, click on the link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie related things. And guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.